Lee right now joins us live to tell us about ongoing conservation efforts. Steffi. It requires effort from people across the state, and we can take part in these conservation efforts here at home. Honeybee rescuers say exterminations often happen in situations such as during meter readings or during electrical work in a city. And monarch butterflies can rely on plants that we can grow here at home. Monarch butterflies have one of the most amazing migrations of any animal on this planet. Monarch butterflies need plants to survive as they travel from Mexico up through the U.S., then back down in the fall. Experts say they're currently under a threat. One of the thoughts behind that is that they don't have enough nectar to make the journey. That's where the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center plays a role. This one is called um, butterfly weed, commonly. Growing milkweeds and plants in their nectar garden provides monarch butterflies the energy they need for their migrations. These we will we'll put into our frames. Walter Schumacher is also trying to save honeybees, critical for food crop production. Because without them, people would start eating people again because there wouldn't be enough protein animals left on this planet. He says honeybees should be rescued and relocated rather than exterminated. Honeybees, as much as gasoline or fossil fuels, uh, are a natural resource. And so they should be treated like a natural resource instead of, oh, that's a nuisance, that's a problem. State lawmakers will examine that economic impact closely. In the meantime, Texans can create the habitats monarch butterflies need. There are plenty of yards, there are plenty of parks, there are plenty of ranches and open spaces that we can connect together. Two different populations, depending on human habits to survive. The Wildflower Center has plant sales two times each year. The next one is this October. Reporting live in Austin, Steffi Lee, KTK News. Uh, just a couple of moments ago, Marcus Dodd of the beautiful Nacogdoches camera. Marcus, you're going to tell them what we're looking at right now. It looks beautiful. It looks inviting. It looks refreshing. It's raining. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, we've gotten some good rain here over parts yeah. of East Texas during the course of this afternoon.